Hello and welcome to Portland Parks and Recreation's online picnic reservation system. This is a how-to video demonstrating the process. If you are new to our online system, you will need to sign in or create an account. We have informational how-to videos that show you how to do both of these things. It's a very easy process and pretty straightforward to other systems. This video will show you how to make a picnic reservation. You will note that our online system is the same system that we use for taking class registration. We do that underneath this tab for activities. We will be using this tab here for reservations. Um, we also do take gift certificate uh, purchases using this tab. Right now, let's click on reservations. When we come to this first landing page, there are full bu four bullet points here that you need to be aware of. First, all online reservations are subject to approval, which means every online res reservation we receive will be reviewed by PPNR staff. You will need to sign in or create an account to complete your request. However, you can do a search uh, for any site any at any time 24-7 without logging in. Payment is due at the time of request in order to secure your location, and you should know that fees may change based on the nature of your request. And this harkens back to our review process. Um, we just want to make sure that the picnic uh, reservation that you have made is exactly what you need at the, at the location that you need, and um, if there are changes to your request, it may change the fees that you are charged. And finally, you will be notified by email when your reservation has been approved, or if we need additional information, we will contact you by email or by phone to ask some additional questions. So let's click on the first button, this View Facility Calendars. That will show availability of your site. It will uh, allow you to narrow down location, amenity type, details for um, your picnic search so that you can get exactly the right place that you're looking for. So let's click on this button. And that brings us to a new landing page. And this will bring up, normally it will default to facility type list. This will bring up all of the facility types that we have. Right now we only have one park that is available for registration and that is because we haven't gone live with our full site that is next week. Um, but right now we wanted to show you how to use the site so we've made one park available. We are also taking reservations for Dodge Park which is a camping site. And under this column it says reservation dates. You can see that there are reserved dates for these for this site during these months and year. And there are reserved uh, reservations currently have been taken for June and August for RV sites and June and September for temp tent sites. But the picnic site that is currently available at Brooklyn School Park has no reservation dates. So just to show you how this works, if there was a reservation at our picnic site, um, you would click onto the map and you would see in May there are reservations on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 8th, 9th, and the 10th. So let's go back and we're going to go into Brooklyn School Park. If you click under location and you click on this button, it will bring up a map that shows you where the park is located. It will describe the types of amenities that you will find at this park the location, the acres, and the hours of operation. If you're interested in this picnic site, we would click here and click once more, and it'll actually detail out the types of picnic sites that are available. So at Brooklyn School Park, there are actually two picnic sites, A and B, and this number here within the parentheses shows you how many tables are at picnic site A. So there are three tables here and three tables here. Now if that doesn't work for you and you want to narrow down your focus, if you come over here, when we turn on all of our parks, you'll be able to actually narrow down your search by location. You'll be able to narrow down your search by picnic site or um, other options that we talked about for Dodge Park. 
or by amenity, and this will be most helpful to you. For instance, if you need a picnic with Wi-Fi, uh, access to restrooms, uh, accessibility for all, that perhaps you want to play baseball or softball, or you want to have horseshoe pits nearby, or let's say a canoe lodge, you would click on these buttons and this will narrow down your search so that you don't have to weed through our hundreds and hundreds of locations for picnic sites. So let's say you've narrowed down your search and you're very much interested in Brooklyn School Park Picnic A. You would click on this button. And again, that brings you into the information. It says there's three tables located at the southwest corner of the park. This is the address. These are the amenities available at the park. And this particular site has a capacity, a maximum capacity of 30. This is um, important because let's say you have 100 people who are planning to attend. You want to make sure that you're picking a site that is large enough for your um, a planned picnic. And this is the end of video one that describes um, the search feature. And in video two, I will actually walk you through the process of making the reservation. Thank you.